What if in Halo 2 when Master Chief and Arbiter get their new armor, the hands on the armor had Gorilla Glue on it so it made it physically impossible for them to trade out their weapons for new ones? All jokes aside though, I thought this would be a fun idea for a video because in Halo 2 you spawn in with a wide variety of different weapons and more so even because you have Arbiter as a playable character. So before we get into the gameplay, here are some quick rules. Number 1. I can't pick up any new weapons. The ammo doesn't count. 2. If a mission starts with no weapons then I get to choose what I use. Number 3. No dual wielding, mainly because if you dual wield plasma weapons and you drop one, the game automatically gives you the weapon that has more plasma battery. Or the famine skull will be on at all times. And number five, no rules on grenades, melee, or vehicles. Also, I forgot to turn the fog skull off in this playthrough, so I won't have the luxury of the motion sensor. So now with that short intro over, let's get right into it. Already starting off on Cairo Station, I didn't have any weapons, so I just picked up a battle rifle, or BR for short, and an SMG since I'm on a UNSC space station, and there won't be any swords of ammo. I then played through the mission how I normally would. I made an error in my jump and died here, but I went ahead and just you know, made it to the bomb. I then proceeded to shoot and beat all the elites to death that were in there and finished the mission. For mission 2 it was the same deal more or less because I got a BR and an SMG again. I mainly just ran and parkoured and drove through the mission so the mission was done in like 10 minutes. Surprise surprise I got the BR and SMG again and like outskirts I drove straight through the mission all the way up to the point where the scare blows the absolute hell out of a scorpion tank. The mission wasn't giving me any problems at all and once I did make it to the inside of the scarab I beat the life out of all the elites and grunts again. So here's where things got a little interesting. It was the first mission playing as the Arbiter and they spawned me in with a plasma rifle and an energy sword. And need I remind you that I can't just pick up ammo for these. I would have to pick up entirely new weapons and obviously I can't do that. So I threw a fit on the ground and punched my way through the first half of the mission and made it to the Banshees with a fellow elite. I engaged in air combat and got to listen to this absolute banger. So I made it to the end of the mission, but before I let the end cutscene play, I fired two shots from my plasma rifle to see if the same weapons and ammo would carry over into the next level. And they did. So I was very glad I didn't fire it at all in the last mission because this one was absolutely filled with the flood. I made it to the elevator and very irresponsibly used half of my energy sword battery on all the flood. I made my way to this room and I was here for a little bit because it was a mandatory firefight section, so I let the heretics and the flood fight it out and I took out any stragglers. It was also here that I decided that I wouldn't allow myself to use any stationary turrets, so I was here even longer. The heretic leader was an absolute pushover and the mission was over. Alright, so we're on mission 6 Delta Halo and thankfully we're back with the Chief because at least now I can pick up ammo. The weapons you get here is an SMG and a rocket launcher so it wasn't bad at all actually. I made my way through the middle section of the level with my tank and just ran the rest of the way to the end. I also showed the two honor guard elites who was the boss around here. So I was starting to notice a pattern with most of the missions and it was that my weapons would carry over to the next one and that kind of took away from the fun. So what I thought was going to be an interesting encounter here with the hunters ended up not happening because the phantom that was supposed to drop them off despawned along with the giant block I was standing on. To. I reset to the last checkpoint and it happened again so now you can't say I didn't try to struggle with the hunters. After a few long gondola rides I made it to the Prophet of Regret and beat him to death but an honor guard didn't like that so he killed me in return. I killed Regret again and managed to stay alive this time. So I got a bit more lucky this time around with the Arbiter because I got a carbine and a plasma pistol. The combinations could have been much worse but I was happy with what I got. I thought this moment was kind of funny so go ahead and enjoy this clip. This mission was quite a breeze and I had a long anticlimactic fight with the flood at the end. Once again I have the same weapons from the last level. I got an inspector with a few elites and sped through the first half of the mission while listening to this banger. I made my way to the gondola and hid underneath away from all the flood. I then made it to the index and got betrayed by Tartarus. After having a little chat with the grave mind, it teleported me to hide charity and I started off with only one weapon, being the needler. So I carefully took out the enemies around me because I needed to pick up a carbine if I stood any chance against the end of the level. I got a carbine successfully and I beat up this brute captain in front of Cortana to try and press her. I found the toy Cortana easter egg and took in the view of high charity. After more running past all the enemies, I made it to the mausoleum of the Arbiter and boy was this room a lot of fun. There's a total of either 4 or 6 hunters in this room but I couldn't quite tell because I hid as long as I could until I had to take out the rest of the enemies. I had to scavenge for plasma grenades because that was the only efficient way to take out the hunters since you can't kill them with melee in Halo 2. So it was the same case with grave mining in because I only spawned in with one weapon, this time it was the plasma rifle, so I had to tread carefully so I didn't pick up one of the dead elite's weapons. So for fun I decided to kill this brute here and get his brute shot to see how fun and crazy that would be. I forgot how good it was for melee so I took advantage of that and punched slash blasted my way through the end of the level, but not before finding this friendly grunt and paying respect to my fallen elite brothers. His life's blood has been spilled. You tread silently, Arbiter. Oh. 
So now I'm on mission 12 high charity and for once my same exact weapons didn't transfer over and I got to start with the carbine and a plasma pistol. I found the rampant Cortana toy for fun and ran my way to the end of the level. I left Cortana behind and beat all the Master Chief based levels and now it was only a matter of time until I got to kick Tyrus' ass and finish Halo 2 without picking up any new weapons. And finally I'm on the last mission in the Great Journey. So this one surprised me because I was expecting to have new weapons on this mission since the last Arbiter level was broken up. I still had my Brute Shot and Plasma Rifle from the last Arbiter mission and since the Tartarus fight was coming up and I didn't know how hard it was going to be, I punched my way through the, the entirety of the level and shot my Brute Shot when I could afford to. I made to the Scarab and teamed up with Johnson and tried to stop Tartarus. I grabbed a Banshee and patiently waited for Johnson to arrive to blast the doors open. After some smack talk from the big dumb ape, I killed Tartarus and proved to him that the elites are the superior species. So unlike me playing Halo like Mario video, this video was supposed to be a more fun and short challenge, which it was, but it didn't exactly meet my standards and didn't play how I wanted it to because a lot of the weapons transferred over into the next mission, which kind of took away from the fun, and by playing the game on easy, it also hampered how much of a challenge this really was. So sometime in the future, I might revisit this video idea and on Halo 2 as well, but with some of the mechanics changed around, but they'll have to wait because we're moving on to Halo 3 with some weird wacky challenge. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe.